Today, I want to talk about Lenovo, the Chinese computer manufacturer that's listed in Hong Kong. Two years ago, we noticed that it had an extremely high, i.e. bad, governance, accounting and peer performance score. We worried that it was using creative accounting to obscure its real leverage and its lack of cash flow. Since then, and having looked at the recent results, we noticed that very little has changed. Before I go on, I must point out that under Hong Kong SFC regulation, we're not allowed to make stock recommendations, and please don't take any of the following as investment advice. However, we do think that anybody thinking about investing in Lenovo would be wise to consider the following. Governance. The first thing to understand about Lenovo is that it's controlled by another Hong Kong listed entity, Legend Holdings. Why this matters is because Legend Holdings has an awful lot of debt and is totally reliant on Lenovo's dividends to be able to fund itself. We think this is why Lenovo continues to pay dividends despite having such pitiful cash flows. It also is why Lenovo is so keen to obscure its natural debt levels because these would have to be consolidated through to the parent. Accounting risk. Now, Lenovo is a master of creative accounting. They constantly change the way they report their results, making it very difficult for outsiders to follow what's going on. They also have all sorts of interesting working capital practices, which allows them to factor receivables, reducing debt. They pass most of their working capital on to their suppliers, again, reducing debt. They also use some very interesting option structures to hide the fact that they've consolidated revenues from businesses they've bought, but have yet to pay for them. Peer performance. Now Lenovo likes to talk about its growth. The reality is nearly all of that has come from M&A over the years. And quite often once the businesses are bought, they start to underperform, which is one of the reasons why Lenovo has so much goodwill on its balance sheet that seems to be completely unjustified. We see little if any evidence that Lenovo is actually innovating and trying to keep up with its dynamic Asian peers like Samsung Electronics, Huawei or Oppo. Moreover, even the mature peers like Dell and HP have developed software sites, which so far Lenovo has failed to do. In short, we see Lenovo as a cash-consuming dinosaur, far more likely to end up like JVC or Toshiba than develop into an Apple. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Many thanks for your time.